Down the road, we'll be ready to work with non-NFB, with independent Canadian material, provided, provided that there is not a private sector Canadian educational distributor willing to take your work on. We'll be rolling this out for the next school year, and we'll look at creating export opportunities to the States and elsewhere. We've been working in partnerships over the last couple of years in terms of uh, the online world because consumption of online videos growth area. So we have partnerships at the moment with YouTube. We're actually getting revenue. Hulu, Netflix in both the States and Canada, Daily Motion, Sony, PlayStation, and others. The deals on our, are on a revenue share basis. This will not generate a lot of revenue in the short term, but it will plant a flag and claim territory in the digital space. And as the network of our digital relations spread, these deals will become important. Interesting new one we've started is with a company in China called KU66, one of the largest internet providers. It's the only one that the majors in Hollywood are dealing with in China. We're talking in, uh, about doing a deal for creating an NFB channel. They will do all the Chinese versioning, start off with about 50 films. It's an ad-based service, and we'll do a revenue share. We'll see how that works. All of this and the expertise and what we're doing, we are willing to share and work with the private sector and see how it can be adapted. Television, even with a the decline, there are opportunities. There are new markets, such as in the Middle East, Asia, and Latin America. The decay of the traditional orderly market may also allow one to configure windows in different ways and leverage revenues. Social networking built into the production process can create an audience appetite that broadcasters will not want to ignore. And flagship programming can still command premium prices. Original digital content. We're currently devoting about 20% of our programming dollars to original digital content for online and mobile platforms. This is content not predicated on or annexed to traditional documentary or animation work. And as, our, as we are making these shifts, I had a very concerned distribution department. They were worried we may be reducing our regular televisual work and consequently affect even more our revenues. In the short term, this may happen, but there are new and distinct revenue opportunities with this work. We are currently assembling a catalog of our original digital work, which will have uh, its formal launch at MIP in April. Two objectives. The first is to license the work in the way you would television programming, and we've already had some success as broadcast the search to find distinctive content to, add, to attach to the programming, and if strong enough, the original content, even though not directly linked to a particular program, becomes attractive added value. The second and possibly more interesting possibility is to create a format business parallel to the television format business. Let me give you an example. We have a project called Sacré Montagne, Holy Mountain very local story about the magic of Mount Royal in Montreal. It allows users to explore and share stories and memories while building an overall narrative experience. It's lovely, it's engaging, has an enormous amount of success. The story is very local, but there's nothing local about the back end. The format, the architecture, the workflows, uh, planning, that can be transported anywhere and be filled in with whatever the local story is, say Central Park in New York, Mount Fuji in Japan, or Eiffel Tower in Paris. Le client peut acheter le format, obtient l'ensemble et lance bientôt sa propre version. Le marché ne se limite pas aux télédiffuseurs. It opens up the possibility of selling these kinds of formats well beyond uh, broadcasters, whether it's telcos, whether it's a tourist board, other sorts of possibilities are there. And what we're doing is exploring how do you construct the business model, what are the contracts, how do you kind of uh, manage the, uh, the pricing structures, how do you manage the kind of uh, editorial control and quality control. Transactional. Now, from the beginning, I've been committed to giving Canadians free access to content. The works on nfb.ca are available to view for free by streaming. You have to be connected and you watch it in the moment. What you cannot do is download to own and add to your personal library or to package and give as a gift. This is about to change. The streaming option will remain, but very shortly, we will offer our audiences the option to purchase, to download on their computers or mobile devices. 
It's been a year-long project to put in place the very sophisticated back-end infrastructure. And it's a transactional system that will allow for VOD and subscription. It's this that is making our Education Plus offer possible. Now, we will do that for nfb.ca, but what's also interesting here is what it can do for you. This is the first fully transactional site, the first such Canadian system for Canadian programming, completely bilingual, English and French. And the possibility exists that we can create a clone or a white label site to work in partnership with you, with the private sector, to make a full panoply of Canadian independent programming available for Canadians, a Canadian iTunes. Now, currently, there's a limited availability of online offerings in Canada of that kind of programming. And most of what's available is American. iTunes and Netflix offer Canadian access to digital content delivery, but very little independent Canadian content providers have access nor positioning within those offerings. Neither provide content in French. So using our infrastructure, our expertise, management, we could work together to create uh, something stunning that allow Canadians that access to watch, to purchase, to individual programs, series, the whole range of work. There are other things in works. I have to keep some surprises in store for later. Now, I just want to finally con conclude and draw a number of lessons and make a number of proposals. One, adaptive change is possible, but it will require rethinking how you operate. It may mean that smaller and medium-sized companies will need to collaborate, collaborate in various ways to reduce your overall costs and find ways to invest in the new technologies and to leverage a broader and more diverse catalog of material. Two, there are other market possibilities beyond the traditional broadcast world, but we also need to fully explore uh, international opportunities. And I propose that we convene an industry think tank to establish a high-level strategy to better exploit internationally, certainly our auteur docs and auteur animation and original digital work. The consultations that the Minister, Minister, Minister of Heritage has launched on co-productions opens possibilities for streamlining those agreements, which can only help us. But we need to ensure that they also include uh, the possibility for international co-pros on original digital work. And as I noted, I would like to enter into discussions about creating a Canadian-type iTunes for independent Canadian programming. The infrastructure is in place now. It could be launched very quickly. For all the stresses on our system, we still have one of the best financing regimes in the world, and particularly for exploring digital media. That gives you enormous strength in the marketplace. Enfin, Nous devons trouver des façons de bâtir l'environnement des visuels de demain, un environnement où la diversité de la programmation canadienne sera à l'honneur, un environnement qui permettra pleinement à la créativité de s'exprimer et qui assurera la santé financière de l'industrie pendant de longues années. Merci. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. There's some very exciting, very exciting thoughts in the face of some really incredible challenges. Your, your optimism and your creativity in the face of very limited resources are always quite inspirational. So thank you for sharing those ideas with us.